What's good, YouTube? Sleevio here, coming at you today with Kyle is Famous. I've seen this game a little bit online, like I saw Markiplier play it, and I'm like, you know what? This game looks interesting. So I figured, hey, let's jump in and try it myself, see how it goes. It's like one of those games where I like, have multiple endings and stuff like that, and like, you know, your choices lead you to where you go. The whole butterfly effect thing or whatever. You play games like, uh, shit, what was that one called on PS4? Until Dawn. If you played Until Dawn, you know, that thing's got multiple endings. Your choices make other people die and shit like that. that that's beside the point. Maybe I can play that one day. Unimportant. What's important is we're here now and well, no, what else is important is Kyle's apparently famous. So let's see how it goes. Also, I'm still under the Kyle weather. Kyle woke up. He is famous. Oh, well, Kyle's famous when he wakes up. But yeah, I'm still under the weather, so sorry if I sound a little bit funny, but we'll keep it moving. Kyle is host of the most popular talk show in recent memory. Yep. Stay up late with Kyle. Stay up late with Kyle. That could be interpreted in many different ways. Stay Up Late with Kyle has grown in popularity quickly in the last year, and the public has noticed. I mean, yeah, you know. Inside has called Kyle a most, a most excellent, excellent dumpy, dumpy white, white man. man. Well, he's excellent. That's all we need to know. Top Tech noted that Kyle is inspiring youth to explore STEM fields. See, some youth are stupid, though, but some are smart. Most other talk shows are dedicated to discussing Kyle and his personal details. We care about his personal detail. That seems like his business, but whatever. TMZ got to go online on. Videos are best of clips taken from Kyle's latest broadcast. That's good for people who don't have a lot of time. The eye of the world is upon Kyle. That sounds like a lot of pressure, man. Tonight is Kyle's most important guest interview yet. Uh huh. Stay up late with Kyle. Will be featuring Rachel May. She is a kind and Rachel lovely Ray. philanthropist. She is dear to the, the hearts, hearts of, of many. many. This interview requires preparation. What kind of preparation? Do I gotta bring water? Do I gotta bring snacks? Kyle cracked his eyes open, knowing today is his last chance to prepare for the interview. See, when you say crack your eyes, it sounds very terrible. Kyle has 30 hours left. He must choose his actions Wait, wisely. Didn't they say today? That's more than, that's 20, that's over 24 hours, whatever, whatever. Uh, so Kyle's first decision of the morning was made wisely. I guess we'll just exit the bed. Okay, Kyle ex exited the bed and took a quick glance around his room. Um, uh, shit. Open the closet. Okay, all I saw was the intro, so I don't know. I don't know what's going on past this. Kyle opened the closet. It was dark, and he could only really see his hanging shirts. Let's just grab an outfit, I guess. Kyle decided to take some time to choose the perfect outfit, knowing how important appearance is. Skunk pasties, a suit of armor. Jeans and swimming goggles or a slick suit. You know what? My sister told me be normal when I play this game. This was requested by her, so fuck okay, it. We're just gonna take a suit. Kyle miraculously crammed his dumpy body into the suit. The chest pockets were filled with random knickknacks. Maybe that'd be helpful later. I'm not sure. Okay, to the center of the bedroom. Should I clean? Uh, scavenge? Scavenge what? Let's sit at the desk for a second. Maybe we over to the desk. Write notes for the interview. Yes, what we do. Kyle wrote down his first question. Is your mother a mother? Am I a mother? Are you a mother? Uh, let's go with the Kyle obvious question. Kyle wrote down his second question. Beef, mash or blended? Ever eaten a raw egg whole? How about some water or some diet tips? Kyle wrote down his third question. I'm just gonna... I purposely ran over a puppy. That's not even a question. That was not even a question. And do you ever smile? That sounds like an asshole question. So we're just gonna go with what's your funny as a story. Kyle wrote down his last question. Okay, so we go from what's your guilty pleasure to do you feel guilty to are you guilty? Like what type of shit is this? What what question is that? Kyle ripped his page of notes out of the notebook and got up from the desk. Alrighty. Uh check in the desk drawer, I guess. Might as well. Assorted change. What is the key do? I think I might need the key. Kyle grabbed the small key he kept in his desk. How much time do I... Oh, I see I got 15 hours. How much time do I need is the better question. Okay, real quick, take the change too. Kyle scooped up... Let's go, let's go. Uh, I don't know why I'm rushing. The, the time doesn't move until I click something. I'm an idiot. Okay. Uh, scavenge? Okay, let's just see what this means. Kyle quickly crouched down on the floor, realizing his immediate need for... Gossip? Nah, fuck that. That's a waste of time. All right, let's hit exit the bedroom to a hallway. Kyle, uh, hmm. Let's take the locked door. Kyle walked over to the strange door in the hallway. 
but found quickly that the door was locked from the inside. Don't I have the key? Can I, can I not use the key? I'm not about to force the door with my forehead. I think that fucked me up for the interview. Uh, move to kitchen. I guess we'll check the pantry. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. Why is your pantry locked, my boy? I need my food ASAP. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually opened. I feel like I'm wasting time. Instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of bottled Why lard. does he... You know, whatever, I'm leaving. Return to the hallway. Uh... Where exactly is the interview thing at? What the fuck am I doing? Kyle hurried to the set. Yep, do I have time? Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. Okay. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Uh-huh. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. <laughs> I love the narrator. Fuck, this guy's nice. Kyle responded. Scream and spin in circles. Okay, because that's just normal to do. Whatever, fuck that. We're going to be normal. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, <laughs> extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. That also seems a bit too much, but whatever. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Sounds okay to me. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the oh, cameras whoa. clicked on. I guess we're starting now. Good evening, everyone, <clears throat> said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Still weird. You got uh, this lady staying up late with you. I just popped the fucking microphone. I am so sorry. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Fair enough. Yeah, she's very famous. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Okay, things are going good so far. What the, the fuck response, was that? Kyle collapsed on the floor. Did I forget to eat? From a combination of stressful oh. preparation and not eating anything, Kyle had passed out. So was I supposed to just eat lard? Nobody in the studio quite knew what to do with him. They began to poke Kyle in the back to see if he moved. After a while, they ended the broadcast, what shut the off the fuck? lights, and went home. Bullshit. Kyle was left face first on the floor. Alright, well I'm a dumbass for that. Kyle prepared by starving himself. I'm kind of salty because I looked at the lard and I'm like, there's no food here. What am I going to do with lard? But I guess maybe I need that. You know what? Fuck that. Let's, let's, let's go back. Okay, so we're back at the kitchen. We're going to go to the fridge this time, I guess. Kyle opened the fridge, intending to find something to eat. Okay, so we can either eat the crust on the fridge wall... The fridge itself, the condiments, or prepare breakfast like a fucking normal person. Let, let's, let's be normal. Kyle constructed a breakfast of poached eggs and toast, along with a small fruit cup and grilled sausage. That sounds really nice right now. Kyle ate his breakfast slowly and thoughtfully, enjoying every bite. He felt refreshed. Sounds good, sounds good. Oh, we've still got more time. Should I just take the lard with me? Like, would that help me? Should I? I've got time. It just... Whatever, fuck it, we'll take it with Kyle us. Kyle wanted to access the pantry, but found it was locked with a small keyhole. The pantry door lock creaked as if it hadn't moved for years, but eventually opened. So... Instead of an assortment of canned goods and grains, Kyle's pantry stored his massive amount of bottled lard. I'll just take the bottle with Kyle me. Kyle grabbed a bottle of lard and stashed it on his person for later use. Okay, uh... Kyle hurried to the set. Okay. Sitting across from his host chair was a glamorous woman with an air of genuinity. So now we're here. Hopefully we do it right this fucking time. As Kyle approached her, Rachel looked up and smiled. Good evening, Kyle, she said, looking him in the eyes. I've been looking forward to being here. Okay. Same as we heard before. Kyle responded. Let's answer politely. Let's not go full spaz. And I as well, Rachel, answered Kyle, extending his hand in greeting. You are a most welcome guest. Let's go. After other mild exchanges of pleasantries, Kyle and Rachel were prompted to take their places for the broadcast. Alrighty. A moment after seating, the studio lights brightened and the cameras clicked on. 
Well, let's go. Good evening, everyone, said Kyle, looking at the camera. Welcome back to Stay Up Late with Kyle. Tonight, I have the pleasure of interviewing the lovely Rachel May, who needs no more introduction. Alrighty, alrighty. Kyle motioned to Rachel, who smiled and waved at the camera. Hello, Kyle, she said. I'm glad to be here. Well, let's see how this goes now. Well, I'm sure we'll have a lot to discuss, so we might as well dive right in, said Kyle. I don't think drinking the lard is a good idea. We'll just say that for later. I'm very ready, said Rachel with a winning smile. Hmm. Kyle produced the notes he had taken earlier. Okay, let's start with are you a mother? Rachel, I and many others would love to know, are you a mother? Kyle looked up from his notes. Well, being a single woman with a career, she answered, that's not something that has crossed my mind. I mean, you know, you could, uh, you know, whatever, it's her choice. Her life, her choice. Rachel smiled genuinely at Kyle. Hmm, good question. Very reasonable indeed, said Kyle. He referenced his paper of questions. Kyle asked another question. Uh, dying tips. Rachel, you managed to keep such a thin and healthy figure, said Kyle. What is your best diet tip? Well, a good diet starts with a plan, answered Rachel, and don't break it. Cheat days can turn into a habit. She's not wrong. I'm bad at diets. But, she continued, that doesn't mean a midnight snack here and there isn't allowed. She smiled. So is this the part where I drink the lard? <laughs> Kyle looked at his flabby self, decided not to comment, and moved on. Damn. Kyle asked another question. Hmm. Guilty pleasure. We all have one. What's your guilty pleasure? Or right, after the diet question, that's a good good segue. Ooh, well, that's an easy answer, said Rachel. Dipping pickles in chocolate sauce. Okay, I'm disturbed. I think I'm more disturbed by that than the guy with his fucking lard bottle to drink. Why would you ruin chocolate with pickles? And I guess vice versa. Whatever. I'm disturbed. It might sound strange, but it's tangy and sweet at the same Nasty. time. I eat it far too often. Rachel smiled sweetly. But I appreciate the honesty. That's nasty. Kyle asked another question. We're not going to shame you, though. Yeah, you've been involved in a lot of different things, said Kyle. But what's your funniest story? This is a good final question. Well, that's a great question, Kyle, said Rachel. Yep. I think the story I always remember is the first time I tried to make dinner for my family. Uh-oh, how did it go? In the soup I made, I swapped out the water with milk and tipped the whole jar of salt in the pot. Inedible. Inedible. While my family was sick from trying to eat it, I swiped their things and locked myself in my room. What was... Why? Did they roast you or something? Why would you take their shit? Rachel laughed elegantly. Okay. Kyle decided to move on. Well, minor segue. This reminds me of the time I tried to make macaroni. When, like, what was this? Like, when I was like 15, some years ago? Yeah, it did not end well. Put a shit ton of salt in it. It was disgusting. It was inedible. It's like I was trying to eat a fucking brick of salt. I felt like a deer at a salt lick, but it was killing me. Yeah, I couldn't eat that. <laughs> yeah, that was a fuck up by me. That shit fucking haunts my memory now. After reading his final question, Kyle looked up from his paper. Yep. Well, Rachel, he said, I think that's all I was planning on asking you. If that's the case, Kyle, may I ask you something in return? I'm scared. Asked Rachel, smiling one more time. Oh, what is she? Is she gonna ask me to empty my pockets? I hope she doesn't ask me to empty my pockets. I got a bunch of shit in here. Do you prepare for your interviews in advance? Because oh, okay. you seem very together. Hmm, do we lie or do we say? Before Kyle could answer, the camera shut down. Oh. The broadcast was over. Nice. Kyle returned home knowing the interview had gone well. We did it. But as he lay in bed and drifted to sleep, he felt that perhaps something was still missing. What could be missing? What? What? Kyle well prepared. Unlock more world options. Oh shit. Okay. All right. This is interesting. I like this. So we can just keep going around and doing shit. Well, I guess we'll call it here for the first part. We'll make this nice little short episode of just doing the normal coming to the interview normally and i guess later on we'll just get more and more chaotic or whatever and just see what the fuck happens we'll start fucking up later on but well this has been salivio thank you guys for watching this has been kyle is famous and well signing out i'll take it easy